Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and in today's video I have an Old Navy try-on haul for you guys. I recently went there to see their new fall items and I found so many cute things I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm going to try everything on and style them in multiple ways so you can really see how they will work in your wardrobe. Like always, I will have all the items linked down in the description box for you guys to shop and I'll also leave the current coupon or their current promotion that's going on. Old Navy always changes it up, but on the weekend especially, they will always be running a good deal so you can pick up these items for even cheaper than they already are. I will share their full price, but don't pay full price at Old Navy. So if you want to see what I picked up from Old Navy for fall, then keep watching. Alright guys, so this is the first thing that caught my eye as soon as I walked into the store. It was kind of in the front of their selection and this is a sweet little dress. I picked it up. They had it also in a maxi version. But I thought I would pick up the shorter version just because I think it's easier to get away with this also in the fall time. So I will show you guys how I would style this for the fall. This is kind of one of the only options that I picked up that you could still get away with towards the end of summer. I have it with some bow shoes. These are not from Old Navy, but I did see a very similar pair online. So I will leave the similar pair down below. These are a splurge from Kate Spade, but I am obsessed with bows and wedges that I had to have these. <laughs> so this dress is $29.99 full price, and I'm wearing a small. It looks really large just because of the busy print, I think, in the mirror. But I really like this dress. I love how lightweight it is. It's kind of that typical old navy fabric that will get really wrinkly if you leave it on the ground. So this is the small on me. I don't, I don't think they had an extra small. I still like the small. I wouldn't want it to be super tight and fitted anyway just because it does have like a drop hem seam right here and I ha typically hate those because they cut off my butt really weird. Um, but this one's nice and flowy so I would belt this just to make it a little more fitted. But I do really like it. So here's an example of how I would style this in the fall time. Just throw a cardigan over it and wear it with some taller boots. So I really liked this cardigan because it's lightweight. I love the length. I picked it up in two colors actually. So I picked it up in two different sizes for you guys to see. So this is the extra small. I haven't tried the small on yet, but I think this fits just fine. The pockets are really droopy, so it is definitely more of like a casual looking sweater. It has a side slit there. But I think this would be really cute with a belt over it. So I'm going to try to find one really quickly. It might not match, but it's just to give you guys the, an idea. So here is the dress and cardigan with a belt over it. And this is how I would personally wear it for fall time. I really love how the belt accentuates my waist. And it also makes the dress a little bit shorter since I am pairing it with some taller boots. These boots were actually from the end sale two years ago. But I can link a similar one down in the description box if you're interested in some tall boots for the season. This pocket thing's a little weird, for sure, but I can get, get through it. So this is definitely a lot edgier than my typical style, but for whatever reason, I was really drawn to this jumpsuit. I think because I had been seeing them a lot last year and I just never gave them the time of day and this one was $44.99, but I think this would be so fun for a girl's night or like an event or something where you wanted to kind of stand out with your style. So I think I definitely could have used an extra small in this. This is a small, but it just seems to be rather large, but um, I wouldn't want it to like show this seam that's like <laughs> not cute. So definitely want to like pull it up and make sure you have enough room here. I think this is how it's supposed to be worn because that just feels more natural and looks better. So I do love the little ruffle detail and then the back is like a scoop. So I paired it with like a tortoise looking necklace. This one is from the J. Crew Factory. And then these shoes, I think this is why I liked them, liked the jumpsuit, because these made it a lot more fun. These are um, Amazon dupes for the Valentinos. So I've talked about these like forever ago on my channel and like a favorites video like two years ago. But obviously I still wear them. They look brand new. They're obviously not like the most comfortable like people say they are. I mean, they're heels and they're pointy heels at that, but I've been in a lot worse shoe for sure. Um, but if you want to shop these, definitely go up at least a half size in them. So I just got an update from my husband because I honestly thought that he would hate this outfit, but he said it was like Hollywood. These were his words. He said it was Hollywood, classy, and girl power. 
So I think he just, I think like this outfit, if you wore it, it just looks like you have a lot of confidence, I think. So I am a big fan of this cardigan. It reminds me of something that like free people would have. I don't know if they've done one like this or what, but it just looks very free people. But this cardigan is super flattering on. Like it just hangs really nicely and doesn't make you look bulky. Um, this is an extra small. I think I could get away with the extra small or the small. The extra small felt a little tight at this seam right at my shoulder with the shirt underneath. So I think I'm going to swap it out for a small. But I really like it. Has the side slit. How much is it? Good question. So I'm assuming this is the tassel of. So regularly $39.99. I guess I got $19.99 off. I don't know what happened there. So it came out to 20 bucks. So I think this is my favorite cardigan out of the three that I got for sure. And then this is just a basic tee. This is $16.99. I like how long it is. It has like an oval kind of cut. So it covers, you know, if you want to wear it with leggings, it's long enough in the back as well barely. So this is how the basic tee fits. It's really soft and stretchy and it fit. it's more fitted in the sleeves. This is a small. Um, these are $16.99. These are the Rockstar jeans and to be honest I really did not have high hopes for these. I've just not had a good experience with Old Navy jeans. These you guys are so stretchy. They definitely feel like jeggings but they have a pocket and these are a size 6 on me which is my true size. I wanted them in a darker wash, but they didn't have any in my size, so I think I'm going to order those and return these just because I just tend to go for darker wash denim, but I'm a big fan of these. I have a couple more jeans to try on, but these are solid if you want really comfy jeans. So this jacket is the whole reason I went into Old Navy. I saw my friend the Thrifty Pineapple show this, and I knew I wanted it. I wanted a jacket like this from Forever 21 but they sold out my size. So this is definitely, I'm gonna be wearing this so much in the fall. This is a size small. They have a ton of colors, but obviously this one is my favorite just cause it's a little different than the typical kind of army green jacket that you see in this material. But this is definitely a must have for fall for me. You will see this a lot on my blog and you can cinch in the sides to give it some more shape. So this is a cute little top. The print is almost like bandana style it's really kind of flowy and lightweight so you could get away definitely with wearing this in the summertime just because it's super kind of like it's not super fitted and tight and would make you feel gross in the summertime but this is a small it retails for $26.99 they had a couple colors in it but I just thought this olive was really kind of unique and I'm going to show you guys how I would wear this personally kind of tied up but it does look cute like this or you could even tuck it into a little skirt in the fall time okay so here is it kind of tied up to show off your waist a little bit more if you want to see how to do this super easy i'll link my instagram video down below it's so fast and easy but this is how it looks tied up and then i'm still wearing those same rockstar jeans these are so comfortable and stretchy i can't really get over them these are definitely a really good buy for the price and I just kind of bunched up the bottom so that it didn't go all the way into the shoe. The reason I like these shoes, I think it's really flattering to wear with jeans and it doesn't make you look cut off like a lot of booties do when the jeans are too long because of the side slit. So I wanted to show you guys these real quick. So these are the seven for all mankind jeans that I featured in my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. These I got from Old Navy. They look identical. I really like this hemline. That's kind of why I liked these. So now I'm definitely going to check online to see if these come in this color. I haven't tried them on yet, but this is definitely a dupe for Seven for All Mankind. I noticed that these had a stain on them. So where was it? You'll see it on, I'm sure. Right there. So these are definitely going back, but let's see how they fit. They're the Rockstar just like what I'm wearing, but they don't seem as stretchy as and, and soft as the pair that I have on right now. I am starting to get so hot because we have to turn the AC off to do these <laughs> videos. Okay, so like I said, these have a stain on them, so they're definitely going back. They don't feel as stretchy, and they feel a lot more snug than the other Rockstar jeans, but these are apparently the same jeans. I don't know the difference there. But I really like the bottom de detail. And I've been wanting some olive jeans, so I think I will switch these out to another one that doesn't have a stain on them. 
they do feel a little more like old navy material if you know what i mean and then this chambray the bow seems a little obnoxious i mean i love a good bow you don't need a necklace or anything obviously um, but the chambray is really soft. I think this came in like a lighter color too, but I kind of liked the darker color and I like the sleeves. This is a small $34.99 and then the jeans, um, I don't know how much they were. Let's see. The jeans are $39.99. Um, but yeah, they're, they look identical to the 7 for all mankind. I think they actually fit me better than the 7 just because they're not as stretchy and these come in different colors as well. This is another one of their basic tees. These are kind of clinging to me, and I don't think I like that. Um, so I would definitely at least size up in these, but I think that's just the material that it is. So if you have anything going on in this area, it will definitely like cling to it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but this is the same size as small, and it's the same price, $16.99. But this one especially size up. I don't know, it feels a little more fitted to me with the V-neck style. So when I saw these olive jeans, I knew first thing I would definitely be wearing it with was this sweater. And I was right. I really like this combo. I hate this tee, though. Not my favorite ba basic tee, that's for sure. It's just like, that's not cute. Um, but definitely this cardigan and these jeans are a good buy. Okay, so I just threw on the other cardigan, and this is the small, and I definitely needed the extra small. This is very oversized. The sleeves even seemed a lot longer on this one for whatever reason. And yeah, this is way too big on me. But I do really like this color. This would look really great with leopard print. So if I got that belt back out, it'll just look too big on me. But a cute leopard belt around here. Just ignore this horrible t-shirt. It's not cute. Um, a leopard clutch. This one's my favorite. Really cute. Um, this one's from Claire V. I invested in this like five years ago and it's still like my ride or die in the fall time. But if you're just not up for spending the amount of money that this one is, I will link a dupe down below. Okay, I don't really know what convinced me to try the boyfriend dream. I've never found a pair that has worked for me. Just because I never know like how baggy they're supposed to be. This one is a size 4. I feel like this is how they're supposed to fit, but this just isn't really my style. It's way out of my comfort zone. But if you're looking for boyfriend jeans, these are $39.99. I would size down in them. They're just not really me. I feel like I'm back in my old softball days, minus the holes. Wearing my softball pants. So that is everything that I recently picked up at Old Navy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more try-on hauls in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.